Hello, I'm John Bachman. We start in Michigan. A man there will spend at least eight years in prison. He could go away for as many as 15 for killing a soccer referee with a punch. Basil Syed was sentenced today. He pleaded guilty back in February to involuntary manslaughter. Last summer, he was playing in a rec soccer game when he punched the ref in the neck. Syed is a native of Lebanon and not a U.S. citizen, so he may also be deported. And more trouble on the horizon for two Secret Service agents. The Washington Post now reports that when those agents drove their car errantly into the White House, or a barrier there anyway, last week, they apparently drove right through a crime scene. A woman had thrown a package at the White House saying it was a bomb, and shortly afterward, the agent's car plowed right through that area, driving next to the alleged bomb scene, which actually turned out to be a book. Yesterday, the president said he still has full confidence in the new Secret Service director. She could, or he could turn the agency around. That's what the president says. In Ferguson, Missouri, their search continues for the shooters or shooter who wounded two police officers yesterday. Protesters were out again last night, but things were much more calm. One witness describes his feelings after those two police officers were shot. That could have been my brother, my father, or my son to see those officers go down. I, I think that that was terrible. I think that was outrageous. A candlelight vigil was held for the two officers who have been released from the hospital last night. President Obama also cautioned the public against making any broad assumptions. You can't generalize uh, about police officers who do uh, an extraordinarily tough job. Overwhelmingly, they do it professionally. You can't generalize about protesters who, it turns out, had some very legitimate grievances. Well, as we mentioned, police are still investigating the shooting and looking for the person or persons responsible. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham warns the U.N. against lifting sanctions on Iran. Let's say that they go to the United Nations and get a Security Council resolution relieving all sanctions. What if the United Nations in that resolution tried to relieve congressional sanctions? I'd cut off all the money of the United Nations. Well, last night, Senator Graham defended his decision to sign that letter that was sent to Iran's supreme leader. In that letter, any nuclear deal that senators say could be scrapped once President Obama leaves office unless it has the agreement of all of Congress. In Utah, a jury finds a doctor guilty of murdering his ex-wife almost four years ago. It took the jury just over uh, seven hours to convict Johnny Brickman. Johnny Brickman Arwal, who was involved in a bitter divorce and custody battle with his former spouse, Dr. Uda von Sch uh, Schuter. Prosecutors say Wall injected Von Shooter with Xanax and then put her in an overflowing bathtub until she drowned. The couple's son says justice has finally been served. And say it ain't so, Pope Francis. That's what most of the world's one billion Catholics might be saying today. During an interview with Mexican broadcaster Televisa, the prompter said, I, may, I have the feeling that my pontificate will be brief, maybe even three or four years. We'll see. Another update for you in 30 minutes.